This is Alan Sherman, founder of Present eLearning Systems, here again at the, uh, our exhibit at the annual uh, American Diabetes Association scientific sessions. It's the second day today, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to uh, have with me Derek Leroy, who is our editor-in-chief and has contributed some wonderful content uh, to uh, Present Diabetes. Uh, Derek is uh, chief of the Division of uh, Endocrinology, Diabetes, and Bone Disease at Mount Sinai Medical School, and a keen observer on the trends in uh, diabetes care and research. Uh, Derek, uh, what have you found are the uh, interesting uh, uh, topics that are being discussed at the meeting this year? So I've been focusing on the relationship between obesity and type 2 diabetes because as everybody knows there's a major epidemic both of the obesity and it's then leading to more type 2 diabetes. So I went to listen to some symposia and discussions around the treatment and the investigation of how obesity comes about and how to treat it in order to prevent the development or improve the situation of type 2 diabetes. And I found one or two topics that were very interesting. Uh, following on previous information, one of the investigators presented um, on how fitness affects the outcomes in obese individuals. And what they discussed was that even if individuals who are obese are prepared to exercise, and become, uh, the term is used, treadmill fitness. If there's a certain degree of aerobic exercise that they do constantly every day, even if they have trouble losing weight, their long-term outcomes are improved. Excellent. There'll be less development of diabetes and there'll be lower mortality. So I thought that was very interesting and very encouraging for the individuals who have trouble losing weight. And given that we don't have, at the moment, except for the diets, we don't have any medication for treating obesity, that's really very uh, widely used, I thought that this would be very helpful for the patients to consider exercising, even in the face of not losing weight. That's very encouraging, yes. Right. And then there was a second one, which was also interesting, was to try and explain many of our thin diabetics who have what we call an obesity type of phenotype. Uh, the phenotype of the obese individual with metabolic syndrome includes hypertension, uh, hyperlipidemia, and of course the central obesity and then occasionally they will develop the uh, early signs of diabetes with an increased fasting blood glucose well there are a lot of thin individuals who have hypertension have hyperlipidemia but definitely upon examination do not have a BMI greater than 25 yet they have this phenotype of this metabolic syndrome without the obesity and the studies show that they fit right in to the classic case and that they should be looked at just like an individual who comes into the office with obesity and treated for the hypertension, hyperlipidemia as if they were an obese individual with the same problem. So not all cases of this metabolic syndrome or pre-diabetic syndrome necessarily are obese and that's something that physicians should be aware of. And the third issue that I'd like to discuss was um, the question of which is better for you to go on diet or to lose your weight through exercise and the evidence suggests that if you lose the same amount of weight by exercising you have a better chance of remaining thin than if you go on a diet and lose the same amount of weight because as we know with the diets they often rebound it's very hard to stick with the diets but those individuals that increase their exercise fitness and that method helps them lose weight, they have a better outcome long term in keeping the weight off, delaying the diabetes and improving their metabolic status. So exercise is more important than, than diet? Yeah. Well, one shouldn't forget diet, but exercise should be a definite component of the therapy of our obese and type 2 diabetes. Interesting. Thanks very much for your comments today. We always enjoy hearing from you. Good. Thank you. And uh, we'll uh, be reporting to you uh, in subsequent episodes more of what happens at the American Diabetes Association scientific sessions.